Welcome to Experience Michiana. I'm the show's producer, Kelsey Zumber, and we have a great show for you today. It's a really a sweet treat, and we'll get into more of that later. We have the LaPorte County Symphony Orchestra on the show today. They have a concert coming up. It's Beethoven's 250th birthday. They're also still trying to find that uh, director candidate, and so they have somebody that's going to be conducting that's one of those candidates as well. Uh, the Michiana Women's Expo, which is celebrating 30 years, that's happening soon as well. We're going to find out more about that from Cindy Cohen. But first, sweetness. It's Sugar Camp Days out at Bendix Woods. They've been doing it for over 40 years. Well, anytime I want to get my sugar rush this time of year, this is the place to be. We're at Bendix Woods, and of course, it's the county park. And hi, Mel. Hi, how are you? Uh, it's so good to see you. And uh, you always have something sweet for us when we get here. We do. Always. And of course, the big, the big sugar, sugar days are coming. Sugar Camp up. Days, yeah. yes. Yeah, I was just, we were, I was riding with Kelsey and I'm like, Kelsey, I remember when we were here last year and it, it came so quickly. And one of the things I said to Kelsey was, how was it this year? Did you get a lot of maple because maple sugar because of the weather? I was wondering if that played a part in. in it's flowing right now. Yeah, we have been having amazing sap weather right now. Really? Really, the best thing is if you have days above freezing and nights that go below freezing, oh. yeah. then the sap starts really coming out of the trees. And right now we have a ton of it. So really? that's wonderful. Yeah. It's wow. kind of like me when I'm going to go up on something really tall. I start sweating. And that's what's oh. going on right now. I the thought you were going to say you're a sap. Yeah, that's well, what I was oh, like. Oh, I am. I am. I'm, I'm like, a big oh, sap when it comes sap. to heights. But the, no, this is what's crazy. Is we're, you've got a little spread here. Yes. And I know that it's not just maple syrup. It's not just for breakfast anymore, is it? Right. <laughs> we're going to do the breakfast, the traditional um, pancakes with syrup. But I also have a maple fruit dip mm. and a maple balsamic vinegar dressing. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Now, one of the highlights of Sugar Camp Days is a pancake breakfast, it right? It is, <laughs> yes. It's an all-you-can-eat pancake breakfast sponsored by New Carlisle Lions Club, sausage and pancakes as well. And Sugar Camp Days, which is March 21 and 22, that's you know you gotta feed us while we talk. I, I, I know, okay. no, no, it's all good. It's all good. I'm listening. I just yeah, know. Yeah, we're both listening. I know the. No, I know I what's happening. This. If I don't grab these now, Sorry, Kelly will get over. them. <laughs> all right. Well, help yourself and pour some pure Bendix Woods maple syrup on there. Oh, so now is that breakfast that. on both Saturday and Sunday? It is. Yes. Okay. It's eight to one both days. Oh, wait, eight is this the dip? That's the fruit dip. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. Oh, you go try, for okay, it. well, all right, I'll try the pancake. You can do that. And is I'm this, right that's a, straight in. I know we're just like reaching over each other. And, okay. okay, what's the dip all right. made of? So the dip is made of Greek yogurt, mm. maple syrup, and a little bit of almond extract. And just that is kind great. of whisk them together. It's and very, very simple. And this is right here from the trees, right? This, this is from Bendix nice. Woods Trees. Yes, we cooked it right here at the park. Indiana maple syrup, everybody. <laughs> Pure right, natural product. This. I love maple syrup. Oh my goodness. This is the good stuff. And you know, a lot right, of what go. people end up eating in restaurants and buying from the store it's is not, not right? actual maple syrup. It's corn syrup with maple flavoring added. And there's definitely a big difference. I blame oh Canada. Oh my goodness. I blame Canada. Wow. Okay. There is a big difference. There is. This there tastes so good. Is. So this is, it's coming directly from the trees. You don't add anything or... No, nope, we don't add no. anything. It's a totally natural product. It mm -hmm. just basically gets cooked. A bunch of the water so gets evaporated out of the sap and it leaves behind the natural sugar that's already present in it. That's, and then this is yeah. the dip. This what I love is that there's so many things you can do with maple syrup. And so right. when you come, you can purchase that, but there's so many things you can do. Yes, we have lots of maple syrup for sale during mm -hmm. sugar camp days. And so you're welcome to take some home. In fact, we are publishing our very own maple cookbook in case oh. you need extra ideas of things that you can make with maple syrup. That is killer. That, that is good. really good. Oh, I, I, yeah. so delicious. No, that, is this the first time you're doing that or with the um, cookbook? We've had a cookbook in the past. This mm -hmm. is our new edition. Oh, so nice. all new recipes, new, new recipes. suggestions. But, and yeah. there are a lot of other events happening those two days as well, right? Yes, all kinds of things are happening at the park Sugar during camp. Sugar Camp Days. We have a lot of historic crafts and arts mm -hmm. taking place, like Always wood carving, spinning wool, that kind of thing. We have a big bake sale, speaking of all the things that you can make with maple syrup. Mm. So a bake sale with maple products. Um, we have a harnessed tree climb for kids mm. if they want to climb up into Great a maple idea. tree. Nice. Wagon rides. We have crafts Don't mind for kids if I to do. make. Oh, please. Help yourself. We've got lots. Oh my gosh, really that is so do. good. 
So far this year, we've made 21 gallons of syrup. So we have quite a bit. Wow. So don't well, hold back. You know what? You should have said 20 because one of them's leaving with me. <laughs> I know, right? That is so good. No, I'm so excited to try the salad dressing. Yes. All right. I'm so get what did you? What's you. in there? So the salad dressing has olive oil, balsamic vinegar, mm -hmm. maple syrup, a little bit of Dijon mustard, and then some salt and pepper. I don't know what you guys are doing, but I'm still working on breakfast. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll get lunch ready here too. What I love about it too is like what you had mentioned. I mean, you know, when you're getting this, you're getting something that's pure and healthy. It doesn't have all those additives in there. That's right. And really, it's an organic product Thank you. here at Bendix Woods. We don't, you know, we don't use fertilizers mm -hmm. on our trees or pesticides or anything like that. And a lot of the nutrients that are in the soil, the trees hold onto those and put it right into the syrup. <laughs> I know. It's Happiness. so good. <laughs> Now, it must take a lot of volunteers to do this, though. It does. I mean, yes. Both the festival itself, a lot of the activities are, you know, staffed by volunteers. Mm -hmm. But then also the actual cooking of the maple syrup is done largely by volunteers as well. Wow. I was going to put free, the you know, syrup right on the salad because oh, it's that good. That would be even better. That, that is way. so good. That is really <laughs> good. Like, wait, wait, that's a great <laughs> idea, Rick. Straight wait till you try that. Well, I was going to use straight up maple syrup. No, that is really good. Maple mm. really pairs well with savory flavors. So, you, you know, you can cook meat with different kinds say, of maple sauces mm. and things like that. Well, obviously, oh, I just dropped some on the floor. I'll get that. You know, one of my favorite things is almond butter with maple. Mm -hmm. Oh, maple that sounds syrup. amazing. Oh, yeah, like you just get fresh maple and mix mm. it in with almond butter. It's so good. That does wow. This is delicious. This. Thank you very I'm much. I'm eating this and salivating literally at the same time. Like, I'm going to wow. eat. This is so good. good. Now, you said it take, it's March 20th and 21st? Uh, 21st and 22nd. 21st. So it's a Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. It's basically wow. like 8 to 3 both days. And um, mm. you can actually see a couple of different methods of cooking maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Obviously, our sugar house demonstrates the modern system of cooking. But we also have a spot where we demonstrate the pioneer method of cooking in a cast iron kettle. Mm -hmm. And we are really fortunate. We have somebody who is a citizen of the Pokagon Band of Potawatomi awesome. who will be here demonstrating traditional sugaring methods. Um, the Potawatomi produced maple syrup for a long, long time before mm -hmm. Europeans arrived and produced maple sugar as well. So we're so excited to have those. So whose idea was it first? You know, it's hard to know. When Europeans arrived, lots of different Native American groups were making maple sugar and passed on that knowledge. They were smart. Yeah. Hmm. So there are a lot of legends about how they discovered how to do it, but right. um, well, the facts is... have been lost in history, I guess. Well, you know what? It was a heck of a trading tool for them. Yeah. That's, that's for sure. I am so... Um, this Loving is so this delicious. Dressing. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. Thank it's you. really good. So the 21st and 22nd, 8 to 3, mm -hmm. rain or shine or snow? It, it, yes. <laughs> oh, no matter what. And obviously, being Indiana, it could be anything. It could be anything. Absolutely. That's anything. why I threw the snow in there. You know, you just I don't know. Don't one year we served. Again. One year we served ice cream with maple syrup because it was 80 degrees. No. And, you know. Some wow. years it's 20, so wow. you just never wow. know. Well, what we do know is that we're going to get some great maple syrup, That's right. great events, and great food. That so is there absolutely you go. true. That you can count on. All, right. All I can tell you is I'm coming here more often. And the Nature Center's here, too, by the way. Yeah. That's We've a great got little nature kids. Center. That's a really fun place to bring kids. It's, and we're still eating. I know we are. Well, thank you so much. Looking forward to that. Again, it's March 21st and 22nd. And for more information about Sugar, sugar Camp Days, you can go onto our website as well. You need to rest Can I? Do you have a to-go container? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sugar Camp Days. This is so good. Or he's just gonna I'm just going to take, gonna take, take the whole thing home. I'm not going to eat this right. Go off of my pan <laughs> I always look forward to Sugar Camp Days. Been out there with my family quite a few times. Look forward to that all-you-can-eat pancake and sausage breakfast. So many other things going on there as well. Uh, now Rick is in the studio uh, with the LaPorte County Symphony Orchestra Executive Director Tim King to find out about the latest concert. As always, it's a great time when we can catch up with Tim King, of course. He's with the LaPorte County Symphony Orchestra, and you guys are still looking for a conductor. We are. We're in the middle of, as you know, a, kind of on the back end now of a music director search. <clears throat> we have a concert coming up on March the 15th, Sunday, March the 15th at 3 p.m. Yes. And this one is going to be in a different auditorium. It's going to be in Michigan City at the okay. Holdcraft Performing Arts Center. Not so, where we were before. It's not where we were before. Right, That's right. right. That was in LaPorte. Some people will know this as the old Elston Junior High School. Um, 
uh, and now the YMCA is taking over part of it, and then the whole Craft Performing Arts Center is taking over the music, uh, the theater wing awesome. of it. But yeah. it's actually a very, very nice auditorium. Yeah. So it's just regular seating, no tables on the floor or anything like that, just a regular right, auditorium right. seating. So we're going to be bringing in a gentleman by the name of Dr. Wilbur Lynn. Okay. And Wilbur is a recent doctoral graduate from IU Bloomington. Okay. But he's already gotten a conducting position with the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra, which is considered one of the top tier orchestras in the United States. And we're going to steal him back. Well, you know, I was Maybe. really surprised because he, he called me and he said, I just want to let you know, this was about six months ago, I want to let you know that I've accepted this position with Cincinnati. Okay. And so when I heard that, I thought, well, he's going to bow out. He's not going to, you know, we're a very, very small budget orchestra, and there's something like a $35 million a year orchestra or something. And and I thought, well, he's just going to say, you know, thanks, it's been great. Too. He said, but I still want to audition for you all. <laughs> I thought, <laughs> okay. well, if you're good enough for Cincinnati, you're probably good enough for us. So that, gotta, that sounds fine to me. You up your sleeve. Right. I know you, something's <laughs> going on here. We're going to get him back so to So anyway, he's going to be conducting with us. He's come, he comes in next week. And of course, with all our music director candidates, we have a series of activities for them sure. to do, meeting subscribers and donors and going to dinners and rehearsals. And, and he's also going to be going to four different high schools and working with the orchestras and bands in those high schools awesome. as well. And so the program is going to be a Mendelssohn Overture, uh, the Gershwin Rhapsody in Blue with pianist mm -hmm. Carrie Sheck, and then Beethoven's Symphony Number no. Seven. Yes, so we're and, and we're celebrating the what the 250th, 250th birthday. Yeah. Beethoven was born in 1770. There you go. In 1827. He's getting up there. Um, and I think he could still hear when yeah. he did the Beethoven Seven. Huh? He, he couldn't hear when he did the Ninth, but he yeah. could still hear when he did the Seven. <laughs> there you go. Well, I'll tell you. I know. You know. I, I said we're looking for conductor, but right. it's, it's all things music. It's basically the guy. The it man, is the, or the guy. Woman. So I take care of the administrative part of it, like raising the money and selling the tickets, and then this. Part person who's a music director has to take care of the musicians, sets the programs, sure. what we're going to be doing for next year, thinks of new ideas, ways to get people in the door, that sort of thing. Um, so the tickets for that are, uh, are real simple to get. You can just go to our website, which is LCSO for LaPorte County Symphony Orchestra dot net, okay. LCSO dot net. There you go. Um, and you can just buy the tickets through there or they'll be there the day of. If people want to get involved with you, that's the way to get a hold of That's the well. way to get a hold okay. of is just through the website, LCSO dot net. get in and play right. and, and get it going, right? That's right. Right, right, absolutely. Always great to see you, Thank brother. you. Thank great you, Rick. Appreciate you. it. I'll see you soon. Sounds like Tim has his hands full picking the next director, and you have a chance to vote on it. If you go to the concert, you have a little survey that you can fill out when you go. Uh, next, I get to sit down with Cindy Cohen, who's going to tell us about 30 years of the Women's Expo. So you may wonder uh, why uh, Cindy and I have these wonderful boas on, and we're going to explain that. And it's part of a 30-year celebration uh, that's happening because it's the Expo for Women. And Cindy, you've been running it for quite a while now, but this is the 30th year, right? It is the 30th year, and we're so excited to have it. It's going to be really great. We have a big show happening this year, so you want to be sure and be there. Yeah, so uh, this is happening at the Century Center, and it's March 19th from 2 to 9 p.m., and there is just a ton of things going on. So tell us a little bit about all the different things that are happening. Of course. Um, well, let's see. We have we always start the expo with Zumba dance, kind of gets everything going. Yep. And then we always end with the Niles, Niles High School Jazz Band, which is really great. And we love honoring the high school kids and their performances. And then we also have the Angel Awards, which is a big volunteerism award. And this year we're honoring uh, Janet Davis, who's the founder of 100 Women Who Care in Michiana. So we're very excited about that. And then we have um, a cocktail party for charity. We have six vocalists this year, no, actually seven. So every 30 minutes, we're gonna have something happening on stage. It's That's gonna be cool. really great. And so uh, all of that is also surrounded mm -hmm. by the expo. And it you is. have a whole bunch of people that are, are there with their stuff on display. So how many people or how many booths are set up this year? We have, um, we'll have 60 booths set up. Oh, wow. So it's a big vendor event. We're at the Discovery Ballroom. So it's very big, it's very nice. And uh, it's a day of beauty inside and out. It's our ladies day out celebration that we do every year. Then we mix in a little, some great food. Yep. And then some delicious cocktails, a lot of girl time. And it's just, it's really, really a lot of fun. There's a, in addition to the booze, there's a lot of demonstrations that happen throughout the day too as well, right? There is, it's a very interactive event and we use the open concept. So when you walk in the room, you see everything all at once. It's like really excited. Some people come and they stay just an hour or two. Other people come and spend the whole day. And so who's your host this year? 
Um, this year we have Kristen Ben from WSPT, and she's um, be talking about the International Women's Day. We're recognizing that, and then she's also um, will be introducing our Angel Award recipient. That's very so cool. So she's there, and then from uh, B100 we have Deb Miles and Brittany Bailey, mm -hmm. and they're kicking off our cocktail party for charity, and they're always so much fun. So that cocktail party isn't, of course, the whole time. So it's like the five to nine, right? Is it that, is. Yep. It's more like in the evening. Yeah, and that's sure. when we have more, we just do more of the action on the stage and more of the show. Yeah. So we say uh, come for the expo and stay for the show. Right. Very good. Now, one of the things that you shared with us is uh, 30 years is a long time. You used to just bring your daughter to this and, and then somehow <laughs> became the person who ran it. So that's tell a, me a little bit about that history. Yeah, that's so crazy. <laughs> I was thinking about it and I remember my daughter in a stroller. She was one year old. We had just moved here and there was a big woman show, this woman show, happening in South Bend. I thought it would be like a great day out with my little mm -hmm. baby daughter. And so we enjoyed the expo and the crazy part about it is in 2008, the opportunity came for me to... Uh, be the promoter of the event. So now I promote the event that I used to take my daughter to. Yeah, it's so very it's, cool. It's really great. So why do you think it's so important for an event like this to happen? Well, we do a lot of things at this event. It's not just an expo or like a bunch of booth spaces or performers. It really is a way for the community to come together to support women um, in every walk of life. So whether they're a stay-at-home mom or a businesswoman or a woman entrepreneur, or if they're a songwriter, producer, or um, in every, women have, we do a lot of stuff. Yep. And so it's just a great way to bring the community together. And then we also do a lot of networking, a lot of business building. We introduce uh, women business owners and women in, to each other so they can become a community of support for one another. So we're, it's really more than, a, it's more than a trade show. That's very cool. It's a very big event and a big day. So hopefully you can be a part of it too. Cindy, if people want to know more information, uh, what's the best place to go? Where's your website, Facebook page? The Facebook page is Expo for Women. Okay. Uh, you know, we use that hashtag Expo for Women. And then also the website is Expo for Women, southbend.org, so you can learn about it there. And uh, if you go to our website, you can get discount tickets. Or if you go to Market, Martin's Supermarkets, yep. you can get discounted tickets there too. Very cool. Now remember, that's the 30th edition of the Women's Expo, mm -hmm. which is happening March 19th from 2 to 9 p.m. at the Century Center. Best of luck, Cindy. Thank you so Thank much you. for sharing. And make sure if you want more information, check out their website or go to ours and we'll link you to it. Yeah, and bring your boa. That's it for this week's show. We're glad you're with us. And next week, we have some wonderful music in store for the show. Julia James, we're going to see the full interview and hopefully the premiere of her video. We're also going to talk to Danny Lehrman and find out about an EP release that's coming up, including a concert over at Vegetable Buddies. Make sure you join us. Until then, have a great week. Previously on Experience Michiana. We are so excited to be at the Black Pro Cafe, and I'm gonna tell you why, Andrew, because I knew that I was going to be coming here for about a week, and I went creeping on your Facebook page. <laughs> Let me tell you, this Facebook page, okay. I, was, I saw your cakes, I saw your cookies, I saw your cinnamon buns, I saw your food, and I couldn't wait. I could not <laughs> wait to get here. Now, this is a completely vegan restaurant. It is, right? yes. And so anytime I meet someone who's vegan, forgive me for saying this, but I'm always like so intrigued, and I want to know the story, so, yeah. so tell me your story. Um, I had, you know, a little bit of health problems um, mm -hmm. that the doctor couldn't seem to get figured out, and I just kind of started doing some research, and I, rather than taking medication, I cut the dairy out, and then within a couple weeks' time, I felt like a completely different person. So mm -hmm. I've um, kind of integrated the plant-based um, diet uh, and just kind of took it a step further. Really? So in just a few weeks, you really yep. saw a big difference? Yep. Within two weeks, I was off my stomach meds. And so this is something that you wanted to bring to other people. It was. Absolutely. Yeah. So.
before you started, you didn't cook for yourself, did you? How did like how did you start eating? Not a whole whole lot. Um, I started actually with Buddha bowls. I got on Pinterest mm -hmm. and I found some Buddha bowl recipes that just kind of consist of like either rice or quinoa. Um, greens, uh, things like that, and I just kind of did meal preps every Sunday and just kind of went from there, and it was a really big success. Because I know one of the things is like being a vegan, it's like, what am I going to eat? And yeah. if you're going out to eat, really all they have are salads. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, and not everybody wants to have a salad all the time, so that's kind of where, where we're at and why I'm here. Right, so tell us about some of the items that you do have here, because you have such a big variety. A little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. um, have a couple of great breakfast items. Um, the Philly cheesesteak is one of my biggest sellers. Wait, you make a Philly cheesesteak? I do. You do? Absolutely. Okay, now how do you make that one? <laughs> what do you, what do you, how, what's in it then? Um, we make an in-house seitan, which is like a wheat meat. It's, uh, the way that we process it, it's, uh, or make it, it's similar to um, like a steak. Cut mm -hmm. it up nice and thin, uh, saute some mushrooms and onions. Um, nice. With some melted vegan cheese on a toasted bun. It's really, really good. And you make that in-house? We do, yep. Wow, and you said it's very flavorful, right? It is, absolutely. Because I think that's one of the biggest things. If I'm going to be a mm -hmm. vegan, I want to really enjoy yeah. this food. and you should. It, yeah, absolutely, it tastes yep. good. Now, can we just talk a little bit about um, some of your desserts? Yeah, Because, I like I said, I crept on your Facebook page. I mean, you look like you could like be cake boss or something. <laughs> No, really, it's that beautiful. Well, thank you, thank you so much. Now, where'd you learn how to bake like that? Uh, my mom actually did a lot of wedding cakes when I was growing up, so I kind of watch her a little bit, but um, I'm honestly, I'm self-taught. Um, a lot of the things I just kind of find online and I just kind of use my imagination a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but it's something that I really, really enjoy, and at one point I do want to have a bakery of my own. That's wonderful. And now plant-based, so there's no eggs, there's no. no milk, no butter, but you have all of these beautiful bakery items yeah. and all of the food, and it tastes great. It does. Okay, now what do you recommend that I eat today? Now, I, I didn't eat breakfast, so I can, you know, sure. we can, yeah, we can sure. do a bunch of food here. Absolutely. I mm -hmm. think we're going to start with the Ultimate Bagel, which is one of my biggest sellers for the uh, breakfast options. Um, it's a soy patty, our scramble, which is cubed potatoes, red green peppers, onions, mm -hmm. uh, melted cheese on a toasted bun, or a bagel rather. It's so good. And then we can do a Philly for okay. you. We'll get Sounds just good. set up with that. Mm -hmm. I know I have a special cake for you as well. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> about that. Okay. Well, I can't wait. So I'll let you get started. Sure. And um, I'll be sitting right over there Sounds waiting. Sounds great. I'll okay. see you in a few. All right. Thank you. The food came out. And you know how you are so excited to eat that it's like you sing. You're like, yes. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly how I feel. Oh, my gosh. This <laughs> looks fabulous. Now, Thank can you. you can you um, walk us through the food again? Now, I definitely know these are the nachos. Sure. Yeah. And did you say that's cashew? It is. We make a homemade okay. cashew cheese sauce. Can you talk a little bit more about it while I try this? Because sure. I am so excited here. Yeah, um, it's just going to have our cashew cheese sauce, which has a special ingredient that I, I can't reveal. Um, I'm tasting that special ingredient because yeah. this is fabulous. Thank you. Oh my, and you know, I love nachos. Mm -hmm. And I do too. this, I cannot tell that this is not regular cheese. Yeah. It is so good. <laughs> Thank you. Now what else is on here? There's beans and... Yep, it has uh, seasoned wow. black beans, um, vegan sour cream, uh, salsa, jalapenos, um, and some mm, tomatoes. Gosh. Now you know it's good when you don't miss the real thing. Like you're not saying, yeah. oh man, I wish that, that was right. That, this is really, really well, good. Well, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Well, that's fabulous. And now, is this, this is the... Um, this is the ultimate bagel the sandwich. Ultimate this is bagel. my number one breakfast sandwich. Okay, what's on here? This has our soy patty, our scramble, which is cubed potatoes, red green peppers, onions, and tofu. Um, I added avocado and then the melted cheese oh on the gosh. bagel for you. That is so good. Okay, you guys are going to have to, you know, <laughs> bear with me here while I take this big bite. I love that you added the avocado because that's so healthy. It, and is. it really is. Mm -hmm. and healthy fats. Okay. Wow. Now that's not, is that egg? That's not egg. It's what tofu. is that? Tofu? Yep. Wow. Wow, that is so good. Now, I didn't know if I told you guys this. You are actually a pharmacist technician, is that what? Yep, pharmacy tech. Now, how did you learn how to cook like this? How did you go from being a pharma pharmacy tech to, to being a great chef? Go ahead and tell us while I'm eating here. Go ahead. Gosh, What's this here? Honestly, I'm not really sure. Uh, that's the um, Cajun burger. That's Ooh, a patty okay. we make in house. A little, little on the spicy side. I like spice. I do too. So. Ooh, do I have some avocado? I feel something here. Do I have? No. I think you're good. Uh, okay, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> now that, that is fabulous. Thank it you. is so nice and spicy. What kind of patty is that? 
Um, the, the base of it is a chickpea. It has, it has a lot of different things. Chickpeas, um, brown rice, quinoa, a wow. little bit of this, a little bit of that. That is, that's really good. Thank you. I mean, it's so flavorful. And you came up with the recipe. Yeah. That is fantastic. Okay, now this is, is that's this the, the, the Philly, yep. That's the Philly. Okay, I'm just gonna lift this up here so you guys can see. Now, what is this called again? This is the seitan. We make that in-house. It's a, just a meat alternative similar to um, beef. Okay, and then I see this cheese on here mm -hmm. as well. Lots but of cheese. And vegan a, cheese yep. and some mushrooms. Yep. All right, Sauteed let me take mushrooms a bite and this. onions. Wow. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but this food is so good. I actually miss, <laughs> wish Rick was here. I do, because he loves to eat too. Where's he at? This, I don't know where he, I think he's out of town, but man, Rick would love this. I mean, this food is so- Thank you. Andrew, it really is. Thank you so now, much. I have to ask you, why'd you name it the Black Crow Cafe? Well, I'm in the um, Black Crow on Main, mm -hmm. so I kind of wanted to keep it together. My um, LLC is Rainbow Grub, and mm -hmm. that's something if I ever move out of this location, I will probably change. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the story behind that. Okay, and you've been here for about two years. Yeah, over two years. Well, I can definitely see you growing and expanding. And speaking of growing and expanding, pass Heck the cake yeah. over here. There we go. <laughs> Gotta okay. get that cake. Wow. I mean, this is like a piece of art here. <laughs> now, what kind of cake is this? This is Rocky Road. Mm -hmm. Yep, it has uh, kind of like a brownie-like um, cake base. Um, vegan marshmallows, dark chocolates, and pecans. And you made this all yourself? I did, yep. Wow, that's impressive. Thank you. Really, Andrew. Okay, guys, here I go. And you know what, I'm gonna eat this, but then I'm gonna go back and eat everything, okay? <laughs> but here's the cake, Rocky Road. Yep. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's why I'm, when I'm telling you, I was creeping on his Facebook page and you did not disappoint, Andrew. Well, thank you Everything so much. is so good. <laughs> thank you. You know what, I am kind of glad Vic isn't here because now I don't have to share any Absolutely. of this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Man, this is fantastic. And the menu changes every day, right? You have something a little bit different. Yeah. Very, and you know what, I am gonna be coming back. You better. You know why? I want those cinnamon buns. Oh, Guys, yes, go on his Facebook yes. page, look at those cinnamon Absolutely. buns. They look fabulous, I'm coming back. <laughs> and you know what, you come here and try this food once and you'll be coming back too. So Andrew, thank you so much. Thank and you. I'm just gonna keep on eating guys, cause this is fabulous. You know what, I may be a vegan after this. This WNIT local production has been made possible in part by viewers like you. Thank you.